My work is about the behaviors that we all engage in unconsciously on a collective level. And when we do these kind of things, when 300 million people do unconscious behaviors, then it can add up to a catastrophic consequence that nobody wants and no one intended. And that's what I look at with my photographic work. This is an image I just recently completed that is, uh, when you stand back at a distance, it looks like a factory spewing out pollution. And as you get a little bit closer, it starts looking like lots of pipes. And as you get all the way up close, you realize that it's actually made of lots and lots of plastic cups. And in fact, this is one million plastic cups, which is the number of plastic cups that are used on airline flights in the United States every six hours. We use four million cups a day on airline flights, and virtually none of them are reused or recycled. Now, that number is dwarfed by the number of paper cups we use every day. And that is 40 million cups a day for hot beverages, most of which is coffee. I couldn't fit 40 million cups on a canvas, but I was able to put 410,000. That's what 410,000 cups looks like. That's 15 minutes of our cup consumption. And if you could actually stack up that many cups in real life, that's the size it would be. And there's an hour's worth of our cups, and there's a day's worth of our cups. You can still see the little people way down there. That's a, as high as a 42-story building. And uh, I put the Statue of Liberty in there as a scale reference. Speaking of justice, uh, there's another phenomenon going on in our culture that I find deeply troubling, and that is that America right now has the largest percentage of its population in prison of any country on Earth. One out of four people, one out of four humans in prison are Americans in prison in our country. And I wanted to show the number. The number is 2.3 million Americans were incarcerated in 2005. So I wanted to show 2.3 million prison uniforms. And in the actual print of this piece, each uniform is the size of a nickel on its edge. They're tiny. They're barely visible as a piece of material. And to show 2.3 million of them required a canvas that was larger than any printer in the world would print. And so I had to divide it up into multiple panels that are 10 feet tall by 25 feet wide. This is that piece installed in a gallery in New York. Uh, those are my parents. I want to show you some pieces now that are about addiction. Um, and this particular one is about cigarette addiction. I wanted to make a piece that shows the actual number of Americans who die from cigarette smoking. More than 400,000 people die in the United States every year from smoking cigarettes. And so this piece is made up of lots and lots of boxes of cigarettes. And as you slowly step back, you see that it's a painting by Van Gogh called Skull with Cigarette. It's a strange thing to think about that on 9-11, when that tragedy happened, 3,000 Americans died. And do you remember the response? It reverberated around the world and will continue to reverberate through time. It'll be something that we talk about in 100 years. And, and yet, on that same day, 1,100 Americans died from smoking. And the day after that, another 1,100 Americans died from smoking. And every single day since then, 1,100 Americans have died. And today, 1,100 Americans are dying from cigarette smoking. And we aren't talking about it. And so that's what I'm trying to do with my work, is to take these numbers, these statistics, from the raw language of data, and to translate them into a more universal visual language that can be felt. Because my belief is, if we can feel these issues, if we can feel these things more deeply, then they'll matter to us more than they do now. And if we can find that, then we'll be able to find within each one of us what it is that we need to find to, hit, to face the big question, which is how do we change? And how do we each individually take responsibility for the one piece of the solution that we are in charge of? And that is our own behavior.